No. It's to get to the other side. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. Right. okay. Yeah. Unit two, solving equations using logarithms yeah. and logarithms. exponentials. All right. Perfect. Back on task here. Okay. Let's go. See what happens. All right. So when we solve these, what we're trying to do is we're trying to figure out what that exponent is. So you can use logs to help solve exponential equations. So the first thing is write them in log form. So we got log base 16 of 8 equals 3x. Hey, and also if you forget how to do that, look at yesterday's lesson and then you'll you'll remember, get get refreshed on or, that. Or two days ago's lesson, actually. Two days ago, yeah. Yesterday was property, so. All right, next step, okay? We can use the change of base formula, log of 8 over the log of 16, because there's no log 16 button on your calculator. You could also use powers of 2 to solve this and solve it by hand, okay? But either way, um, you just have to make sure you know how to do solving it by hand anyways. So plug that in your calculator if you want to, and then divide by 3 to solve for x, and you get 0.25. Pretty easy. Uh, step by step, we'll break it down. Make sure you bring questions to class if you have them. On this example, on the right side, you first have to subtract 5. So notice that 285 is 5 less than 290. Again, we're going to write it. Uh, or actually this is a, a different way to think about it but using logs still uh, these are using the properties of logs and then we'll see from this step to the next step is that power property where you take the power 3, 3x and then you move it out front to be the coefficient to solve you would go ahead and divide both sides by log of 15 type that in the calculator divide both sides by 3 and you get your decimal approximation for that logarithm. Okay, so you can use either one of these methods. It doesn't matter if you just go straight from this exponential form to log form, or like we did on the uh, the right hand side here, you got it in exponential form by subtracting the five. Then you just took the log of both sides. Use your properties. Go through and solve it. Either one of these methods works exactly the same. I can't believe it was to get to the other side. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That's crazy. Solving natural logs really works the same way. Um, I know it says ln on the right, but we say natural logarithm. Here's our base e, and then on the left side, we would obviously subtract 2 first. To isolate the base e, we would also have to then divide by 4, and you get e raised to the 2x power equals 3.5. Taking the natural logarithm on both sides cancels out the natural logarithm with the base e, and you have 2x equals 1.253 once you actually put that natural log in the calculator. In the calculator. Yeah. Divide <clears throat> both sides by 2 and you get your answer. All right. And you could also do this the same way that we did the example on the left yeah. on the previous slide. Take and change this into exponential from exponential form to logarithmic and then you're good. Okay. So here we're going to do the exact same thing. Okay. So first step well, I'll just click. Okay, up oh, too far. Okay, we got to get the natural log all by itself, so we divide both sides by four. Then we can take the e of both sides, which is sort of like taking the natural log of both sides. All right, so we take e to both sides, e to the eighth over here on the right, e to the ln of n x plus two. This is that same rule when the bases are the same, because the base here for natural log is actually e. They cancel out. You're left with x plus two here. This e to the eighth is just straight up calculator. Now we put that in the calculator. Subtract two to solve for x, and we get 2,978.96. And one thing to point out here too is if you compare the original problems, notice that this example has a quantity x plus two. We don't subtract that two first like we did over here. Over here we isolated the base e by subtracting the two and then dividing. Over here we're dividing and then uh, later on we subtract the two so keep track of your steps I think there was oh yeah one more here solving log equations very similar these are just a couple more examples uh, but it's also using the the properties and we wanted to uh, identify that if you don't see a base it's going to be a base 10 uh, so we would write that as 10 to the second power equals 4x minus 3 10 to the second power is 100, add 3 to both sides, divide by 4 on both sides, and that's pretty much it. Hit pause at this point, try the one on the right, get yourself the answer, make sure you bring questions tomorrow.
There it is.